Today's adventure brings us to West Virginia. Y'all stay tuned. Hello from LaSage, West Virginia. Finally, we've made it to Hillbilly Hot Dogs. I know you've been looking forward to coming to this place and we finally made it here today. So, folks, y'all stay tuned. We hope y'all enjoy this video. Let's go inside and check out this place. Well, let's take a quick look at the menu. Here's the address, the hours of operation. They open on Monday from 11 to 4, closed on Tuesdays and Wednesday, and then Thursday through Sunday, they open from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Some of the hot dogs that are available, you get the Hill Deli Hillbilly Dog, Snuffy Dog, West Virginia Dog, the Taco Dog, the Thunder and Herd Dog, the Ketchup Puppy, Hound Dog, Corn Dog, Nacho Dog, the What's Up Dog, Stacy's Flu Shot, Pizza Dog, Egg Dog, Harrison Dog, the Mothman Dog, 
Also, they have onion rings, french fries, cheese fries, chili cheese fries, garlic ranch fries, mac wedges, mozzarella sticks. They have a home wrecker, which is a, a challenge. If, if you can eat the hot dog within 12 minutes, you get a free t-shirt. This is a 15-inch dog with about two pounds of toppings. So in all, you're eating about three pounds worth of food. You have to eat it within 12 minutes. They have a kid's menu, and also burgers are available. They have subs and sandwiches, ha ham and cheese sub, a fried bologna. They have uh, the hen house. You can get a barnyard bird dog, a fried chicken sandwich. Also, they have desserts. Extra fixings are available. You can add on. Now on the back side of the menu here we have the combos and specials and the drink menu. The Coke products, Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, Iced Tea, Monster Energy. Also they carry different types of beers. Alright, we've got a food, they just brought it out. We got the two hot dogs, a corn dog, a hamburger, some fries, and some onion rings. Why don't you open up your hot dog and see how it looks? Okay. I don't know which one is which. That's okay. yours. That one's mine. They okay. in order, she said. Okay. Here's my hot dog. I got with mustard and chili. <sighs> mustard Not and chili. Mm -hmm. That business man all right, I got a cheeseburger with mustard and pickle. They actually put the slices in. They did put the whole slice on uh -huh. it, look like. Oh, yeah, it should be good. Well, since we're in West Virginia, I got the West Virginia dog. Got the mustard, onion, slaw, and chili. All right, Carly, she got herself a corn dog. Dog. So you like that hillbilly hot dog? I'd say it's hillbilly fabulous. All right, let's see how your West Virginia dog is. Is that what you got? What'd you get? Um, I got the businessman special. I how is it, Dave? Good, good taste to it. Well, Cindy just finished her hot dog. What did you think of it? Uh, it was really good. The chili was tasty. Um, I like it. That yeah, chili is very good. Yeah, I know. It's good. It's not spicy. You know, I no. like spicy. Could have got some jalapeno on one of us. And you know what? I, better, I just want to try the original, see how it is. It was good. Yeah. I would agree. It's got a real good taste to it. My hot dog is real good. You enjoyed I'm, yours? I have. I'm, I'm enjoyed it so much. I may go get a, another type and try it. Oh, definitely. Well, why don't you try your burger and see how you like that? I know we had a hot dog place. But I know you love you love a good burger too. I do two of my favorite things. It's good. You can tell this is a hand padded burger. It's fresh meat, never frozen, and that's why I got it because I had read that and then laid it behind the counter confirmed that for me. It's nice and juicy, absolutely delicious. And I know you just love a fresh hamburger. I like a good burger. Carly enjoying her corn dog. David's hot dog was so good, he decided he'd go back for a second one. What'd you get this time, David? This time I got the one they call the Pine Appalachian Hot Dog. Okay. I think that's the correct name. The Pine Appalachian Dog. Okay. It comes with barbecue sauce, country ham, shredded cheese, and crushed pineapple pieces. Let's unwrap that thing and take a look at it. All right, that's definitely a different looking hot dog. I bet it'll be good. Got some barbecue sauce on me. Oh, let's get that off. We don't want it to stain. Mm. Right, let's take a bite. Let's see how it is. You can definitely taste the barbecue sauce. Definitely different. 
Cindy's gonna give it a try, see how she likes it. Oh yeah, I like it. The barbecue sauce to me has got a little spice to it. Well, yeah, that might be why I like it. You know how I like those little smokies and barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. Reminds me of that. Hey, I'm here with Harley at Hillbilly Hot Dogs, and Harley's just gonna tell us a little bit about how Hillb Hillbilly Hot Dogs came to be. So, in 1999, we had two people who had fell in love, and one was from West Virginia. This is actually where Sonny's family, uh, where he was born and raised, everything like that. Hillbilly Hot Dogs is actually on the property. If you, like, kind of look up right above, you actually see the house that he grew up in. Um, and then Sherry was from California, but they met in California. Sonny owned a car wash out there and they met at his car wash and they fell in love and they decided both of them had the dream of owning a hot dog place and that's just kind of how it came to be. They came back here and they started it and it just started out as this tiny little kitchen area, 12 by 16, what you see right here. Um, and then in 2008, we were actually on diners, drive-ins, and dives. And, and that's then, how I heard about and, you. That's and what that's, brought me in. Yep, that's pretty much where we kind of blew up. And uh, now we're a little bit more of like a touristy kind of area. And we've pretty much quadrupled in size. We have four buses in total, that kind of thing. And that's pretty much where we are today. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for coming. We're going to come and look at some stuff. Oh. <laughs> so get out of the way. <laughs> There's our hot dog station, our hot dog girl. <laughs> After you order your food, you come find your place to sit. They have two old school buses. They turned into a seating area. I'll show it to you. This is the one we ate in. You come on up to the front of the bus, you can see where the driver would be sitting. We have a Power Ranger right here. And one thing, you can leave your mark behind here. They give you a, a marker, you can write on the bus, the tables. Anywhere you can find a spot, you can put your name, or maybe you're celebrating something special, you can leave your occasion. And watch your head when you come out. And let's go check out the other school bus. This one's painted up yellow on the inside. Both of them are pretty much being the same. And this is for a larger size family that can come to the very back and sit. Now here's a third school bus that's also used as a area that you come eat your food. This bus is outside of the restaurant part. I noticed every one of these tables has telephone on it. Also, you can go upstairs above the school buses and eat outside if you like. Let's go up here and take a look at that. This is what it looks like up on top of the school buses. They got some cool little stools right here you can sit on.
What are you doing, Cindy? Well, you know, I gotta leave my mark. I waited so long to get here. I don't know how many years I've been wanting to come here. You know? So I figure, why not sign this from the YouTubers, VA Fun Seekers. So if you come to Hillbilly Hot Dog, see if you can find where I signed the table. And I might sign a few other places around here too. closing here in one of the school buses where you can dine in so this is the one that's not connected to hillbilly hot dogs restaurant it's off uh, in the side so that's where we are right now doing our closing well what did you think about the hillbilly hot dogs i thought they were hillbilly fabulous delicious amazing i really did enjoy i got one hot dog and it was um the hillbilly hot dog and I didn't put onions on mine, it was mustard and chili and it was good. And then I got a burger and I believe they called that the baby burger. I think so. That is a big burger. It's a quarter pound, but it's still big. It seems even bigger than that to me. Um, but it was a and, big burger and it was delicious. It and was, the pickles, they was kind of different. You know, they like they brought the whole strip of pickle on the burger, didn't they? You know, I was wondering if they were the stackers. They kind of look like they were the stackers that you buy. Right. Um, but anyway, they had the pickles. I love pickles, so I loved having the uh, pickles like that. And these were hand padded hamburgers that was fresh. It wasn't anything frozen. And um, just a good hamburger and a hot dog. The fries were good. Everything I had uh, was definitely good comfort food. And I know how you love a good burger, so I, I hope yes, you enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. And you know, even though I love a hot dog, I just had to try the burger while I was here. Right. Too. Now, Carla, you got the kids' meal, you got the corn dog. How was that? It was really good. And also with yours, they gave you a little uh, paper bag of goodies, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I know they had some candy, a sticker, yeah. and what else was in it? It was a balloon. Yeah, a balloon. I knew it was something else. And, um, and you know, and that reminded me of when you used to go to like the little store in your neighborhood type thing, where they had little bags, where you would get little candy, you would get like a little penny candy. So uh, I thought it was neat that they put it in that. And since we was in West Virginia today, I had to try the West Virginia hot dog. That came with mustard, chili, onions, and slaw. And I really enjoyed the hot dog. I enjoyed it so much I went back and I, I tried something different. The second go around, I ended up getting the uh, Appalachian hot dog. That came, it had uh, chili, country ham, barbecue sauce and some pineapple. That was something different. I never had a hot dog before with barbecue sauce. To me, this, the barbecue sauce was a little bit spicy, but it was still good. I know you tried it, Cindy. How did you like it? Oh, I liked it. And I have had a hot dog with barbecue sauce because I love barbecue sauce. And any, I've eaten just hot dogs plain with barbecue sauce. I've done like a little 
wieners before. Yeah, it kind of reminded yeah, me of like your little cocktail wieners that you fixed. Like mm -hmm. And it, it was good to me. It was, spi it was a little spicy. I would definitely order one, you know, for myself. And I also ordered a, a order of onion rings. I got the small one, and that was more than most folks give you with a large. You know, yeah. it was a whole lot of onion rings. I'm glad I didn't get the big size. Well, it was a lot of onion rings. And I like to give the uh, the staff that works here a shout out. They were very nice, polite, very friendly. And um, I know what the girl working inside actually took the camera in the back, did a little filming in the kitchen. So, since we couldn't go in the back to kind of show you what it looks like in the kitchen area. And, and you know, they really try to make it fun for you, like singing the song, the hot dog song they have here. I guess it's called the Hillbilly Hot Dog Song. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they would sing that, ring the bell, just really into it. The people in the back would stop and sing with her when she was doing it. And it seemed like they really enjoyed it too. And also we got to see, they got this challenge here called the home record, where you, if you eat the hot dog within 12 minutes, you get a free t-shirt and we got to see one guy attempt it. I believe his name was Joe. I took a little video of him earlier and I will probably attach that in here as well. So anyway, Joe didn't make Joe it. Joe didn't make it. I'm sorry he didn't. He was doing good. Oh, he, he was amazing. He went through the actual hot dog pretty fast and then he had to eat the toppings and the and bread. And the bun, but and then I think it just got to be too much for him, which I can understand because that was a lot of food. For me, I wouldn't attempt it anyway because I know it's way too much for me. I like to eat, but I sure couldn't eat that much. Especially that fast. And um, but a real nice experience when you first pull in the parking lot. It kind of reminds me of the old episode Sanford and Son. You pull in, they got stuff just piled up everywhere. All kind of unique stuff to it. Antiques. They had some real nice signs that I enjoyed reading them. You know, oh, they were funny. A lot of, a lot of them funny signs. And the, the, inside of the school buses, that's inside that you sit in. You can go in there with markers. You can write your name. Or if you're celebrating a special occasion, you can put like a happy birthday, the date, and all that kind of stuff. Just kind of, you can put your personal last touch on, on the place. And I want to mention that we saw this on uh, Triple D originally. Right. We've been wanting to come here for a while. And we finally made it, and they did have a sign up there where Guy was here, where Guy Fietti came. And uh, I've seen it a couple times. One time they had a um, thing on the Food Network that um, they did during the pandemic, and Guy was making, I think, one of some dish or something that the owner here does. And uh, since they were not actually going out at that point, and so I remember they had a shout out to, to them there, then they had the owner on it. And um, of course, the original that I've seen, I don't know how many times you can go on YouTube and look at it, and that's always fun to watch. And just how much fun that a guy had when he visited here, and I can see why. Well, that's going to do it for here in Lesage, West Virginia today. We hope y'all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and close this out, Carly. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss our latest and greatest videos. See you next time. God bless. And thank y'all for watching. And also, if you hadn't done it already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Because we're trying to grow our channel, and we would love to have y'all join us and follow us our journey. Because we go along the state of, of United States of America, and maybe somewhere else eventually. But please hit that button and share it with your friends. And thank y'all. Billy Fabulous. Thank y'all for watching that. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeehaw! Oh. I need Yo, a few Joe. extra seconds because my timer's about to start. Yo, <laughs> Excuse Josiah. me. You got this. Joe, 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 Joe,
I hope they have his size and color on that shirt. I know. Oh. <laughs>